Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. Uh, I have a very good, very, very good question here. And uh, I've lived this question for 50 years. But it concerns a woman that is asking our opinion on if they should get a puppy or an adult dog for a competition dog. So here's the question. Cindy, again, thank you much for your availability. This is a terrific help and I love Learberg. A question, please. I'm interested in getting a new dog for AKC obedience and rally. Several professionals have recommended choosing a young adult such as you can see the dog's potential more clearly by getting an older dog. They stated that there are too many unknowns with puppies, even when they're well-bred. Others have said that getting a puppy is best to form an early relationship and to begin early luring and attention games from the very beginning. Do you have a recommendation on starting with a puppy or a young adult dog? Thank you, Cindy. Good questions, but even when I read the first part of it, I knew what Cindy's answer was absolutely going to be, and that is, she said, I don't think that we can make a recommendation because there are simply too many variables here, and, and it can go either way with a young adult or with a puppy. I mean, Cindy says, I've taken both young puppies and young adults with some uh, that worked out very well and some with not such good results. For me, it's about the relationship and the chemistry between me and the dog that I'm working and sitting right in front of me. It's not always possible to predict what that may be in the beginning of a new relationship, whether it's a puppy or an adult dog. You just don't know. She said, if I did take a young adult, I would probably only take a puppy from a friend of mine who I knew had the same training philosophy and working ethics, as working etiquette as I have. And that makes so much sense. The thing is, is that a puppy's a clean slate when you get it. So Cindy recommends that you need to do what you feel most comfortable with. And I'll go back to back in the 1980s. Uh, I used to import from Germany selection tested police service dogs. Those were usually dogs that were anywhere from 12 to 18 months old, where I would bring them to the United States and then I would turn and sell those dogs to professional dog trainers who would finish the dogs in police work uh, and train the handlers and the dogs in police work. And I did it for probably a year and a half, but I did a lot of it and I brought a lot of dogs over. And even then, I had some that were a disaster. Even if they were x-rayed, even if I saw videos ahead of time, even if I kind of trusted the people that I was buying them from, what I found is they'd send me five good dogs and then one really piece of garbage. And that was just the way it was with the Germans at that time. And I tell anybody that wants to buy a dog, I bred German Shepherds for 35 years. So when people come and say, hey, I'd like to buy a German Shepherd and I'd like to go over there, I'd like to get, a, I'd like to get an adult dog. Or others will say, I'd like to get a puppy. And I'd say, you know what? I don't think I'd do either one of them. Because if you're buying a puppy overseas, they're gonna send you the end of the litter, no matter how good their bloodline is. Unless they're a very personal friend of yours that you trust implicitly, you're gonna get a dog that nobody else that came into that dog kennel wanted to buy. And the same thing with the adult dogs that I got. Our choice is to start with a puppy. Are there risks? There's always risks. You can feed that puppy correctly. You cannot over-exercise that puppy so you damage their joints. They end up, in my opinion, 80, 85% of the dogs that have bad joints are dogs that were puppies that were overfed at a young age and over-exercised. People did too much work with them too soon in their lives. You don't need to run, turn them into jogging partners when they're a year old. Give these dogs a chance to mature, to grow, have their bones firm up that type of thing. So that 
doesn't really answer that person's question, but they really need to stop and think. It's in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, this person doesn't sound like she has, or he has, I'm sorry, uh, a lot of friends that are professional dog trainers. And it's the old story, everybody has an opinion on how to train your dog. And I think I need to do a, uh, a YouTube video just on that concept. But they're probably gonna be better off here to find a good breeder, research the devil out of the breeder, uh, find out what they've produced, see how deeply you can go into talking about other customers that have had puppies from those dogs, and then start from a puppy. I mean, you're not really gonna know until the dog's a year and a half, two years old. But if you do your background work good, you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna recommend three videos at the end of this that we would say people that are thinking about doing this should consider to buy so you get started off on the right foot. One's the power of training dogs with food, the other one's the power of playing tug with the dog, and then the other is uh, how to build a relationship with your dog. And Michael Ellis, our good friend and one of our instructors, has done these, and uh, they're just excellent, excellent information in there.